Today we're gonna try something that I've never done before and that is make a shaker pocket. But first let's set up our page. Hi, my name is Nikki. I'm with Nikki Scrapbooking Adventures. Today we are playing with Iron Crafter where we have to use some sequins or beads or something like that. Today I decided to go ahead and dig through my sequins. Now, I keep, minus these guys, all my sequins in a little drawer just to pull out. I picked up the majority of my sequins from Amazon. So I bought like a 50 pack or something of sequins. And then I also got some from a little swap. And I am gonna go ahead and use these sequins that are in a little swap because it makes me nervous it's in this bag. Even though this bag still has not opened, I'm gonna use these. They're already pre-mixed and they kind of match what I'm doing so whatever right i am using my scrap room kit from the photo play little chef collection you can see the stickers i'm already thinking about using and i am combining it with their freaky fast fridays ideas and that is a free resource from the scrap room and it just tells you how to cut your papers so I've got a seven by 10, a six by eight, and then two, one and a half inch by three. And those are gonna land there. Uh, just kidding, I'm gonna rotate, just a second. <laughs> no, I think that's right, I think that's right. Yep, I think that's right. So it's gonna end up looking like a block of paper. And what's great about using something like this is it looks like it's one big piece of paper, but it really isn't. And then they also had us cut three two inch circles and those are gonna be my cluster bases, but we'll get to that later. Let's talk photos. So these are my photos and this is myself and my son baking some brownies. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and use this collection because we're baking, making, being a little chef. And that's gonna be my title. But what I really wanted to do is add a shaker pocket to make it look like my mixing bowl is mixing. So what I've done so far is I picked up this cut file from Miss Kate Cuttables and she does an awesome job of layering her embellishments and the way that she designs it. So this was one layer and then there was another layer that needed to go on top of the bowl. I decided to nix that. The bottom layer and then she added a spoon and then another top layer on top of this even to make it look like it's a liquid stirring. <clears throat> but instead I cut these two pieces, well three, because I had to cut a white piece right here for that bowl part. And then I used a sticker from the sticker sheet to make my whisk and make the whisk in the bowl, right? And that actually makes it look more like the bowl, the way that I had this position. Then I had a piece of acetate that was left over some from some packaging and I cut it so that it goes from like right here to the top of my bowl and use double-sided adhesive from Dollar Tree. And again, I used foam tape from Dollar Tree and cut it in half to line the perimeter of where I want my sequins to be. Then using that same tape, just went ahead and went around the bowl. Because what happens is the sequins stay in here, but the rest of the bowl needs to be popped up as well. So this is just watching other YouTubers trying to make shaker pockets. One thing I don't like about shaker pockets is that a lot of the time the space is very big that people use the shakers in. So that's why I chose something a little bit smaller, but I thought it would be a fun way to get some movement and use some sequins. I'm going to go ahead and try to fill this sucker. So 
the way people have said to be careful is that you keep the backing of whatever adhesive foam adhesive you're using because what can happen is that the sequin sticks to the sticky part if you expose it and you just kind of dump it in there um see how that kind of went awry already ah. and you just kind of space them out the way you want them to be just like that so that really did not take much like hardly anything so I still have this package that I gotta use up <laughs> but I think that'll be fun get all those colors okay so now I gotta take the backing off I'm a little nervous about this because I don't want what I don't want to happen is you jaw I jostle this a little bit too much and then we are uh, SOL shoot I already got a sequence on the tape that I don't want on the tape okay so this part seems like it's probably gonna be the hardest and my fingers are stuck to that tape now I did not think about that before I put them down And this little guy actually helps me. I have no idea what this It's a little hook that's very sharp on the end. Um, I think you use it for weeding. It definitely helps get the adhesives off. The back, backing of adhesive. I use this on my double-sided tape that has a backing on it. So I have all of that done. Now I want the confetti to be the part that shines through where my sequins are not covering. So I'm going to try to line this up as best as I can. And if I don't get it quite right, I can always trim when I flip it over. Okay. Moment of truth. Whoosh. Hey! See, now it looks like there's something in there. It doesn't really shake, and that's okay. It's going in a scrapbook, but you can see those sequins in there. I think that looks super cute. It's like you're mixing the ingredients. That's exciting. There's my first shaker pocket that doesn't really shake, and that's okay. We got our main embellishment done. That's going to land right about there. And then I'm going to use this guy to go right there. And then my little chef has the pink powder on it from Scrap Perfect. It's like embossing powder. You know what you put on your card stock before you want to go in and emboss. That's going to tuck right in there. And then this is, this is why I have the pink thing. Cause there was just a little bit of a weird gap right there. So now I can use, hang on, I'm going to, there we go. Use some stickers. So I've got these and I think I'm going to tuck them underneath here. Just like that. Get little spoons going on. And then I've got a triangle paper clip that's going to go underneath the blue and point up. And then I've got a cookie. That cookie can rest like right there. Cool. So that was one of my two inch circles. Second two inch circle is gonna be right up in this corner. I've got a couple stickers here. And it's gonna say baked with love with a little dealio, little baked cookie. 
and then that is going to point to this baked with love part and then my last cluster there's this awesome sticker life is a combination of magic and food i think that's cute that's going to kind of overlap my photo in the lower right hand corner and then of course i have to get a chef's hat on there and to stick with the triangles and a visual triangle that's probably going to point down to this cookie and the saying just like that so i might have to move this in just a little bit just like that and that my friends is my layout using sequence for the iron crafter this is a hop and it will be happening on the last Friday of every month for the year of 2023. I don't know if it'll be continued into 2024, which is weirdly weird to say in January of 2023. Um, but the goal of this hop is to use things that we don't normally use. And definitely one of those things that I don't normally use is sequins. And I threw in some buttons in there. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I am doing at least three videos a week in the new year, so head on over to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.